Full English? I can't hear you. I said you fancy a... Fire. <coughs> Don't want a fancy. I think I've swallowed a tin of polish here. <coughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, sweet homie. That smell off to you. No. Well, I smell of that. Oh, well, but I wish I did. You OK, Jim? Back to square one, kid. Back to square one. Hey, you see wake up? See you around the table. Breakfast ready, Jim? No. Not for me, could I? You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Not even a glass of tap water? Honest, Dad, the really is just a blind baby. You have put your manager's head on, haven't you? Oh, I'm sorry, I've got to read some of the riot act. What that was about? No, it's not over until tomorrow. Oh, you gonna ever do? Yeah, but it's not gonna be all bells and whistles, put it that way. Are you gonna come, aren't you? Well, we'll see, eh? Hey, well, maybe, you know, maybe I should just babysit, eh? Hey. And get lost, it's all sorted, you're coming. So, uh, who's in trouble, then? Oh, um, someone's at the health club. Some of you should know better. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah, well, the are gonna start on the bungalow in a couple of weeks, aren't they? Exactly. Start. <sighs> so... Great grannies, then. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs to pick up from the parade, so I'll leave you to it. My dear. Oh, Dad's not good news. It checks along okay. You're not making any profit. Jacqueline has kept the wolf away from the door for a good few years now. Now, once I'm Most back to the Most of your clients, Dad, have cancelled their contracts. Yeah, but that's to do with the court case, isn't it? With you, that we'd lose some customers. 73% of them. Your only copper bottom's income is running Jesse's rent. Yeah, but meanwhile I'm stuck in a single bed in the baby's room. It's like being back inside. Right. Things I was gonna do once I got out. Start with Greek gummies. So what you need? A full-time job where you can clock on and clock off. No risks, no responsibilities. At my age, I've got less chance than Jimmy Corkill. I tell you, even I wouldn't give me a job. So what's this job you're doing again? System builder's waste. Ooh, sure that's a good idea. Yeah? Why? Look, Jimmy's taking his med. He's got a care plan. He's got us. Well, he's got me anyway. Same not. Good. What if he loses the plot again, eh? Then we'll cope. This is his home, not a prison. But what if we need to lock him up again? You know, it's last resort, eh? Well, it's too late now. Sorry. You want to want the screws? Before you get snapped up by the Liverpool Philharmonic Canterbury, make sure I get that science project. Sorry, miss. I want it first thing Friday morning. Okay. You have had the whole of Easter holidays. I know, miss. How come everybody else has managed this? I wasn't ready for help. What was the matter with you? Friday morning or Monday detention. Right, I'm off, Jim. I've got no more to share. It's a cinch. Now you've got to make into the catwalk model. Hi, Luby Lou. Oh, I have an off missed you. Oh. Is Richard in the car? Eh, uh, no, sweetheart. How's she been? Good as gold. Thought you were getting back together. Oh, come here, Lou. Hey, who am I going to knock about with if you sling it up? Cheers. Why didn't you get back with him? Oh, I'm sorry, hon, but it's grown up stuff. But there might be something in my bag for you off Richard. Why don't you have a boot? It's just something about the health club that your mum can't meet this day, Lou. Oh, I don't know. She's not happy with me signing on. She's certainly not happy with me with the work ethic. What is it? CD. Fifty pounds. Wow, that's brilliant. How much does the card say? That's your miss, isn't it? Well, 
we'll see. Hey, and you know if it doesn't, we'll go up and find it. At least I'm still alive, eh? Which is more than can be said for Moffat. Oh, um, I saw Katie yesterday. Oh, yeah? Well, we're on a bit more of an even keel these days, so... Oh, that's good, isn't it? Did you speak to her? <sighs> Dad? No. No, not really, no. Well, she didn't give you a mouthful, did she? <laughs> well, what happened? I think a mouthful just about sums it up, Jack. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'm gonna have a word with her. No, I don't want you to. Well, she's not on. You've saved your time. The irony is I'm probably one of the few people I could help her. It's just her and me and that young lad's mother stuck in the same nightmare. <sighs> Promise me you won't say anything, Jack. And whatever happens again, eh? No, we won't. I'm sure she's got it out of her system. Promise. Okay. I robbed that girl of her future, don't forget. It was an accident, Dad. It's time she let go. How no, can she? Poor kid. The pair of us have got a life sentence. Well, the feeling was mutual until the other day. You mean Liz Frankel? Look, why you've lied to your wife is none of my business, right? But lying to me, and when I'm up to my eyes in the reopening. I, I apologise. It's complicated. Oh, well, let me simplify for you. Any more swing on the lead and you couldn't sling you. Distribution 